They call me Squirrel. You ever heard of Pam Ayers? That was the question I got today. What's going on, Squirrel Squad? How we doing? Yeah, you have one of those days too sometimes, you know? I, uh, <laughs> someone asked me, have you ever heard of Pam Ayers? I got an email today. And it was like, you know, you, you should look into her. She's, uh, she's just, she's a bit of comedy gold herself, but in a poetic kind of sense. And uh, they sent me this clip and said, you should check, this is one you should check out and see what you think. So, hi. I'm Squirrel. This is Pam Ayers. They should have asked my husband. And I'm checking it out. Appreciate you sending it over. Let's uh, let's get into this and see where Pam, lead, Pam leads us. I mean, is this going to be a rabbit hole or is this going to be a big... You never know. Who knows? You know, I put videos up and I'm like, yeah, this is going to be great. I get all excited and then I'm like, oh, shit, I got 200 views. Oh, not good. And then I put other ones out and I'm like, ah, eh, eh, I don't, I don't know. We'll see how people think, you know, and then all of a sudden it gets a ton of views. Who knows? I mean, I have no idea. But I want to check out Pam. Let's see what Pam uh, has to offer. Sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy a little Pam Ayers. You guys ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. This is a poem I wrote because I'm of an age when a lot of my friends' husbands are retiring now. And I observe that for some of the couples, this is a tremendous and exciting success. <laughs> But for others, it, it takes a bit more getting used to, uh, <laughs> particularly if he is a man of firm opinions. Uh, so it's partly about that, but it's mostly just about the person we all know who knows it all. And it doesn't matter what your little modest opinion might be, he is going to overwhelm it with his enormously important opinion. And I'd just like to make it perfectly clear, of course, that it's nothing to do with any member of my own family. <laughs> no. You believe me, don't you? <laughs> yes, that's all right then. Anyway, this is it. You know, this world is complicated and imperfect and oppressed. And it's not hard to feel timid, apprehensive and depressed. It seems that all around us, tides of questions ebb and flow, and people want solutions, but they don't know where to go. Opinions abound, but who is wrong and who is right? No, people need a prophet, a diffuser of the light, someone they can turn to as the crises rage and swirl, someone with the remedy, the wisdom, the pearl. Well, they should have asked my husband. <laughs> no, he'd have told him. <laughs> then and there, his thoughts on immigration, teenage mothers, Tony Blair, <laughs> the future of the monarchy, house prices in the South, the wait for hip replacements, BSE and foot and mouth. <laughs> No, they should have asked my husband. He can sort out any mess. He can rejuvenate the railways. He can cure the NHS. So any little niggle, anything you want to know, just run it past my husband, wind him up, and let him go. <laughs> See? Congestion on the motorways, free holidays for thugs. The damage to the ozone layer, refugees, drugs. These may defeat the brain of any politician bloke, but present it to my husband. He will solve it at a stroke. He'll clarify the situation. He will make it crystal clear. You'll feel the glazing of your eyeballs <laughs> and the bending of your ear. She's talking about my father. Holy shit, is she talking about my father? Corruption at the top is an authority on that, and the Mafia, Gaddafi, and Yasser Arafat. <laughs> <laughs> Upon these areas, he brings his intellect to shine in a great, compelling voice that's twice as loud as yours or mine. I often wonder what it must be like to be so strong infallible, articulate, self-confident, and wrong. <laughs> when, when it comes to tolerance, he hasn't got a lot. Joyriders should be guillotined, and muggers should be shot. 
the sound of his own voice becomes like music to his ears. And he hasn't got an inkling that he's boring us to tears. <laughs> oh, it's relentless. It's unstoppable. The hunting ban was grim. I fantasise at night about the hounds pursuing him. <laughs> <laughs> One thing, and one thing only, caused a smile his face to crack. At last, we beat Australia. <laughs> and we got the ashes back. <laughs> My friends don't call so often. They have busy lives, I know, but it's not every day you want to hear a windbag suck and blow. <laughs> Encyclopedias, on them we never have to call. Why clutter up the bookshelf when my husband <laughs> knows it all? Wow. Uh, Pam Ayers, in her own words. First of all, it's got to be tough to stand up there, give an opening monologue, chat with everybody. I mean, I don't know how long she's been on stage, probably for a while before this even started. And then remember that entire poem. I mean, I know that they're her poems. She wrote them. I guess it's like a singer singing songs, you know. But uh, I don't know. That was crazy. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that she's married to my dad. Um, that's my dad in a nutshell. He will bitch, complain, fight with anybody about anything, and he's never wrong. Um, love the guy, which I truly do, but boy, that's uh, it's pretty, it's pretty dead on. I thought, like halfway through, I was just like, I'm just gonna imagine she's talking about handsome. So that's what he calls my dad, handsome. It's his nickname. <laughs> imagine that, <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. So Pam's uh, husband and handsome ought to get together and go bowling, I think. What do you think? I thought Pam Harris was great. She was adorable. What an adorable lady. She's just so, like, so well-spoken, so soft-spoken, so great at her. The, the poetry was amazing. Um, she was just, uh, she was adorable. I, I, I absolutely adored her. I thought that was great. I really thought that was nice. So I appreciate the recommendation. I, I It was sent over to me in an email, and I was, I was very glad to receive it and very glad to be able to react to it. Hopefully this gets through for you folks, and we'll get to watch it. Who knows? Good night, Pam. Thank you. Thank you for telling me a poem about my dad. <laughs> Scroll out. <laughs> <laughs>